Hi guys, I know it's been a while, I'm sorry, um, heavy work schedule, unfortunately because of that I haven't had a chance to properly bait scammers I guess, so all I've done is just go out of my way to piss them off, and boy did we have some success, so here's a bit of a short compilation, alright, so, meet Amy Scarlett. Hello, I'm Danielle Rose, personal assistant to Joe Elliott. I'm here to inform you all his fans on the issue of impersonation. He will not open a random Instagram account to text you on Instagram, so please don't believe anyone claiming to be him. He has only one Instagram account, which is his verified Instagram account, and also kindly send your email if you are interested in getting an appreciation message from Joe Elliott himself. But if you aren't, just ignore it. Thank you. I thought, oh, I'm not going to ignore you. I said, he also stated unequivocally that none of his staff would ever message randomly. So what's your explanation for that? Maybe you should see the video he posted. To which my scammer responded, you are not interested. You should have ignored. I'm not here for long talk. Whatever that means. So in response to her whole non his whole nonsensical opening, I said, he also said he'd never message people at all. To which my scammer said, I'm just a personal assistant. And in response to, I'm not here for long talk, I said, you're a scammer. I've already reported this account. And in response to, you are not interested, you should have ignored. I said, playing with you muggles is fun because you're also unimaginative and ridiculous. Now, I've obviously reported it. She blocked me. I don't think she's been taken down. But there you go. That's the first one. They get progressively nastier. Trust me. Now I want you to meet Instagram user who hit me up. Hi, dear. Mr. Teddy Swims would love to appreciate you for your like, likes, comments, and unwavering support towards his career, and it's an honour to have you as a fan. So, uh, I suppose he did spell it right. I don't know. I said, and who are you meant to be? I'm his handler. Because, you know, Teddy's like a dog and needs a handler. I said, uh... Something I'm sure you can prove. You know, not at all, un unironically. How did you get to know about Teddy? Said my scammer, ignoring all that. I said, and no, I don't want some badly done fake chat from an app. And in response to how did you get to know about Teddy, I said, how did you? This account has had three uh, name changes already. And in response to a no, I don't want some badly done fake chat. Have you had any encounters with imposter? came the normal response. I said, I'm speaking with one now, with particularly bad English skills. And in response to this account has had three name changes already, I have access to his verified secure handle, whatever that means. I said, sure you do. Funny how you're not listed on his official list of staff. It seems you have doubts, declared my scammer, finally realising that I was being very, very facetious throughout the whole thing. I said, it's publicly available. We'd cross-posted. And in response to, it seems you have doubts, I said, you think? Just stating something out loud doesn't make it fact. You know this, right? And in response to, it's publicly available, nothing, everything is available. Whatever that means. I said, yes, it is. It's publicly available. I'm just not telling you where. That's what you guys don't seem to realise about the Western world. You get your information from movies and silly videos online. To which my scammer said, I'm here to argue. I'm sure they meant to put not, but, you know, there you go, Freudian sleep. I said, I know what you're going to say before you say it, because you guys aren't imaginative, nor is this new. Every little hustler out there has already tried this, and badly. You're not doing anything new. And in response to I'm here to argue, that little Freudian sleep, I said, yes, you really are, aren't you? To which my absolute fuckwit said, Well, I can see you have had a lot of imposters. To which I responded, Everyone claiming an affiliation to someone famous is an imposter. To which my scammer said, That's why you don't believe anything. No shit, Sherlock. I said, Which you little muggles don't realise. And in response to that's why you don't believe anything, I said, and why are you any different? What makes you real? Just saying it out loud, oh my God. You really believe that, don't you? This is why you have no clients. I don't understand you, came the response. I said, I know everything you're going to say before you say it. 
"'What do you mean by having no client?' said my suddenly very wary scammer. "'You're about 19, a young boy from West Africa, "'and you think you're being very clever, but you clearly had a bad night, "'and feigning ignorance about something everyone knows about "'shows me who you really are. "'Even Teddy knows these terms. "'You're nonsensical.' "'At which point, bang, the uh, account was taken down. "'I'm sure he's blocked me, though there's a lot of Instagram users "'and I don't know whether the accounts have been disabled "'or they've just blocked me completely.' Now, this one I'm just going to add because it was a little bit weird. Um, this person, Alexander Calvin, hit me up with a girl's image and two different white men on her profile, on his profile photos, right? So I don't know whether we just look the same. I don't know. But it was very strange. Hello, friend. How are you doing today? Happy Sunday, said my scammer Sunday night Australian time. I said, yes, hello, what can I do for you then? Hello, Finnish, I'm Calvin from Singapore, but I live in the US. Now, not a single male photo on this profile was Asian, except for this little girl. I said, why do you have such random pictures? And I take it by the name you aren't female, because we all know they can't do names correctly. And in response to why do you have such random pictures? Oh, as for the pictures, it was my daughter who helped me to create this Instagram account, so I am new here, said my hoping romance scammer. And in response to, and I take it by the name, you aren't female. No, I am a male. That is my daughter on my profile, which is creepy AF, guys. I said, so you use your daughter's photo? That's messed up. Yes, because she was the one who created it for me. Again, messed up, guys. To which I responded, it's disgusting, you should know better. Finish, why are you asking all these questions? Said my now very pissed off scammer. I said, because you're coming across really creepy, like a chomo. And in response to you should know better, she is all I have. If putting her pic on my profile will make her happy, then I have no problem with that, declared my scammer with great profundity. I said, you have a child's picture up, two different white men's photos, and you hit me up like that. And in response to she's all I have, I said, goodbye. At which point, thankfully, they vanished because I just wasn't in the mood to try and untangle this ugh, creepy ass thing <laughs> onto the next. Now I want you to meet another Instagram user, but this was Gerard Butler's manager. Hello, came the greeting. You have had such a wonderful and lovely impact on Gerard Butler career with your comments, love and support. Say it with me, guys. A big thanks to you. We love to express our gratitude to you. We love you. Mr. Gerard would want you to write to him in person. Thank you. My name is Katia and I happened to be his personal manager. People never seem to get their grammar correctly. I said, please show proof of affiliation to the man in question. Thanks. To which my absolute idiot said, okay, you would like to have a video call with him to clear your doubts? I said, he can call on here. No, he can't. I said, I'm not moving to Telegram or some other scammer app. Just his private WhatsApp. And in response to no, he can't, I said, oh, never mind then. Showing no interest whatsoever. And in response to I'm not moving to Telegram or some other scammer app, have a nice day. And in response to just his private WhatsApp, I said, like, I'm giving someone my number. Are you nuts? And in response to have a nice day, I said, Moogle. To which he came back with, what's your problem, miss? I said, you scammers are my problem. I told you, have a nice day. Why the insults? Said my absolutely insulted scammer. I said, because you make it unsafe online. Do you think I'm fake? Are you insane? Said my 100% fake. I said, I know you're a fake. Or do you have problem, you fool? Giving away exactly where he came from. And in response to, are you insane? I said, you are if you think you'll get any clients this way. And in response to fool, I said, scammer triggered. And at that point, poof, they were gone. Now I got hit up by Teddy Swings. But the way that it was structured, I thought, we'll see if this is a fan page or a legit trying to scam, right? 
they really were not about to have their account taken down. However, I managed to have it taken down. I said, is this page a fan page dedicated to Teddy or what? Because they asked to follow me. Yes, it's a fan page dedicated to Teddy. Are you a fan? Said my scammer, try to go that route. Mind you, they'd left their location on. I said, sort of, in responding to my fan. So I'm just wondering why you'd ask to follow me. That's all. Oh, okay, came the response. How long have you been a fan? Avoiding all questions again. I said, not long and not really a fan. I just like one song. Oh, okay, came again, the uninspired, unintelligent response. You must have your membership card. Getting right to the scam. I said, what membership card? That isn't a thing, you know. Only Nigerian scammers think that's a real thing. To which my scammer said, what's that? To only Nigerian scammers think it's a real thing. He was panicking because he'd left his location on. And in response to what's that, I said, what's what? A scammer or a Nigerian? You'd know. A fan membership card isn't a real thing in the Western world. And in response to what membership card, that isn't a thing. My scammer said, that's a card. Anyone who listens to Teddy fa- music or a fan should have? Question mark. Definitely a young scammer. To which I said, Omo, listen to me. It isn't a thing. Everyone knows it isn't. Then I sent his flag and lots of laughing emojis and poof, the account was gone. I don't think he'd blocked me. I wonder. Yeah, maybe he's blocked me, but I think the account was taken down. Now I want you to meet Teddy again. I think it was Teddy. Yes. Look at this nonsensical opening. That's hilarious. You're funny. I know what's going on. That's why I'm here to reach out to you all and sort things out. I think this one had hit me up. I'd said you're fake and then they'd gone away for a while and I deleted the chat. So I have no preceding chat. So I just went, okay, I have no idea who you are. I said, what are you babbling about? What do you mean? I get why you're angry and I'm going to make it up to you. Again, apropos of nothing. I said, what are you going on about? I have no idea what you're saying. If we chatted before, please send me a screenshot of the chat because I don't have anything here, which means I deleted it. And I sent him the profile before it was taken down and that I had nothing there. I said, this is all I have. I have no idea what you're babbling about or who you are. Send a screenshot, please. It's clear we've chatted before because I didn't have to accept your request. And in response to it's clear we've chatted before, yeah, go through our previous chart, said my idiot scammer. To which I said, that's what I'm saying. I don't have it anymore. Send me a screenshot. I delete all chats once I've busted the scammer. So send me a screenshot. Busted what, scammer? said my scammer. To which I showed him again where the, uh, we had started the chat. I said, send me a screenshot of the chat, please. I have nothing here. There must have been a reason I deleted it. To which my scammer said, oh, I suppose you'd have to figure it out, though. Hoping against hope that I wouldn't force him to send this chat because I'd obviously called him out. I said, no, I do not have to do anything. You want to chat, you send me a screenshot. This account was created in April and you've changed the name once already. People always check the information on the account. You are trying to compel me somehow and that's not particularly polite. April? Asked my scammer now, not knowing that I had access to that information. I said, yes, April, the account says it. And in response to you, I try to compel me somehow and that's not particularly polite. I said, you message me, so be polite and send me a screenshot. And in response to yes, April, the account says it, my scammer said, oh, I see. Well, you could take time as well to read the bio on my profile too, which I did and all it said was Teddy Swims. That was it. I said, oh my God, you're clearly having comprehension issues, whoever you are. If you can't do one simple polite thing, then I'll suggest you go bother someone else. You obviously are not having any luck with this temporary account. I suggest another name change then. To which my idiot said, whoever I am, are you for real? (laughs) Absolutely. Unironically insulted, guys. He was so insulted. I said, are you? 
sending an insane amount of question marks. I said, because you're nonsensical. I said, if you can't indulge a lady, then go find another client. Either send the screenshot or go away. And in response to cause you're nonsensical, my incensed scammer goes, what's the meaning of this? I said, was I unclear? And in response to if you can't indulge a lady, then go find another client, my scammer said, I'm trying to connect with my fans. You're getting all worked up. He was getting very worked up. I said, either send the screenshot of the chat or go away. Simple. You can't do one simple thing that raises more red flags than anything. To which my scammer said, I'm kind of busy now. I will give that to my PA to go through with the chart. The guy was absolute idiot. He was holding the phone. All he had to do was do a screenshot, but he wasn't going to do it. To which I sent laughing emojis. I said, yes, the chart. Toddle off and make better choices with your life. I said, you're not too busy to type, but too busy to snap a screenshot on your own phone and sent insane amount of laughing emojis, which triggered the scammer. Lol, what's funny? That's my boss. You want the previous chart, right? Getting himself all confused. Most people don't believe, though, at first, but later apologize. I said, ugh, you've now completely lost the plot. How do you even function in life? I doubt that very much, Omar. Wahala, some Mugu's messaging me with shit English. And sent lots of laughing emojis. You know what? You're a big fool, animal, cunt, pussy, dog. To which I went, scammer triggered. No clients or remittance for you tonight, little boy. At which point, that was it. He was gone. Let me see if, if I go, hello. Yeah, oh, he hasn't banned me. I think he was taken down. I think I reported him for the the foul language. <laughs> and I'm super annoyed that my account was banned for 15 more hours because I've got this one here. Actually, I might read this one. <clears throat> so meet John Scott Barrowman. Hello, dear. I said, yes. Can I help you? Yes, you just commented on my video. I'm saying, scammers, what your problem? Because I went onto his profile and wrote scammer, scammer, scammer on every one of his posts. So because you clearly are and you make it unsafe online, plus you hurt the real artist. To which he says, yeah, I clearly understand. Many persons out there have become corrupt by money and I despise that more than anything. Normally I don't text anyone on here. But your unique close resemblance with an old friend of mine made me text you. I hope you keep this between us, for I hate the media finding out anything about this. I love to keep my personal life as private as possible, said the scammer who'd done no research on John Barrowman at all. I said, oh, using that old format. I bet her name was Wendy as well, referring to that friend that I apparently look like. I said, do you even know anything about John? which triggered my scammer. Okay, was the response. I said, yes, that's the correct answer. Shaking my head, you muggles are embarrassing. Fuck off, bitch, said my triggered scammer. I went scammer triggered. Oh, gun kill your mama, he said. I said, you absolute muppet. How are you not embarrassed that you're so stupid? No client saw remittance for you, little muggle of mine. At which point, another scammer had actually reported me for harassment and I got banned. 15 more hours to go, guys. Because this one, as you guys can see, there's a fair amount here, including Patrick Swayze, who's dead. And look at all these requests. So I can't wait, guys. So I promise more videos coming. I know I've dropped the ball a little bit in the last week, but I've been exhausted, guys. I'm pulling... 12 hour days so there you go like comment subscribe all that jazz love you guys talk to you soon bye